Today I'm here to talk about a film that is 45 years old now, and uh, that film is Carrie, um, starring Sissy Spacek and uh, Pepper Laurie, or Piper Laurie, but uh, also uh, has uh, William Cat, John Travolta, as a he plays the boyfriend of the the main bully of Carrie, or who Car uh, whose bully is Carrie, um, uh, you know, so many people know about this film now, uh, obviously, because not like this, this movie is great, um, but there's also been various incarnations of this sort of story. Of course, it's based off of a book by Stephen King, um, and this is actually the first uh, adaptation of a Stephen King book ever. Palma made this, who made Scarface, um, and The Untouchables, Carlitos Way, and so many other great films. Um, and this movie is a, obviously a classic, uh, a film that uh, has been beloved for so many years, uh, and has survived all these years. Um, You know, one thing about this uh, movie that is excellent is the, uh, you know, the performances. The performances are really uh, great. Sissy Spacek is uh, fantastic. Um, Pepper Laurie is, uh, is great as her mother. Very religious and you know, at times overbearing. Um, and, uh, you know, it's very interesting uh, to see how this girl, you know, it develops, you know, uh, or learns of her, uh, that the ability she has with uh, telekinesis, and uh, how she goes through the film, sort of uh, figuring out she has it, and then trying to use it. As opposed to just have it go off any time, you know, like she's mad or anything. Um, and uh, throughout uh, the film, you see uh, Carrie getting bullied quite a bit. Very, uh, uh, very, very unfortunate. Um, but in, in various cases, this does happen, unfortunately. Um, and, uh, you know, in the beginning of the film, you know, she has her first period, you know, and, uh, it's, a, it's like a very humiliating, like, experience, which you made fun of, and, um, uh, as a result, and, uh, it's very... You're very much on Carrie's side throughout the whole film, uh, and as the film goes on, obviously, uh, you know everything culminates to the end of the film. Uh, um, and it's a very good build-up to like the prom and how uh, she goes to prom with uh, uh, somebody who is dating somebody who you know isn't exactly like you know her friend, but also isn't exactly horrible to her either. Um, you know, it's like, you know, you know, go, you know, ask her to prom. Seems like a, a, kind of a joke, but then it doesn't seem to be as things go along. And, uh, you know, Tom, you know, Sue Snow and Tommy, they, you know, he asks her to prom, and it seems like, you know, as the night goes on, they are enjoying each other's company. It's very nice and genuine about what's, you know, the night. And, you know, they're deemed, you know, prom king and queen. And uh, just when it seems like she's very happy and people are beginning to like her, uh, yeah, she gets p 
pig's blood. Uh, dropped on her, as well as uh, Tommy, her prom date. Um, prank from one of her bullies. And uh, her boyfriend, uh, you know, Chris, his boyfriend is played by John Travolta. His name is obviously on here, but not, uh, yeah, he was not at all a huge, uh, the huge star that he is now. Uh, this came out the year before uh, Saturday Night Fever, though he was on the show Walking Back Cotter, so obviously he was fairly recognizable, but he wasn't yet exactly a film star, uh, as we all know him as now. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, and everything, you know, culminates to just, you know, the very end of the film with the shocking ending, which has uh, uh, surprised so many people and also inspired uh, the ending of uh, Friday the 13th that I talked about earlier this year. So I guess spoilers, but I, I think so many people know this ending and how this film just overall has come about. Um, you know, this film really uh, helped pave the way for other Stephen King uh, adaptations. You know, if this was not a success, you know, it's quite likely we wouldn't have as many, you know, Stephen King uh, based films based off of this book. Not to say that it, it, there wouldn't be, you know, uh, film and television adaptations of his books, but, you know, I think the number of films based off of his works, I think, would be quite small if it wasn't for the success of Carrie. And I think others have also sort of made that determined, determination, like, you know, if it wasn't for the success of this film, might not have... Uh, the other films like uh, uh, Cujo though I'm not the biggest fan of that film um, which came out in the 80's um, and so many others you know there's a lot of horror uh, based books that Stephen King wrote which then makes good, good for horror films and then of course you know there is The Shawshank Redemption uh, The Green Mile uh, films that, you know, are not uh, horror, but they're dramatic. Also, Stand By Me is also another film based off of a Stephen King uh, story. Um, that's based off of a body. But, you know, Carrie, really, uh, if it wasn't for Carrie, you know, maybe some of these would never have, uh, these films I mentioned, wouldn't have been made. Or, if they were, would have been met later. So... And I think, you know, Brian De Palma and everyone's great work, you know, and Lawrence D. Cohen, who wrote the book, or wrote the film. And, uh, you know, just uh, because if it wasn't for uh, them you know, and everyone, all the uh, people, you know, acting in the film, them coming together and making the film the best that it could be, you know, it uh, might not... Uh, some of those films that we know and love based off of the material of Stephen King. Uh, in some cases, maybe they wouldn't have been made. And again, some may have taken a bit longer to have been made. Um, you know, The Shining also. Um, but yeah, uh, this release just is a sort of a standard. Blu-ray doesn't have any, like, you know, special features. Uh, uh, Shout Factory, or through their Screen Factory, well, did release uh, a Blu-ray, but I never got that, unfortunately. And uh, as far as I can tell, it's out of print. Uh, though I have uh, looked online and, you know, on uh, eBay and Amazon, there are some that are either in very good condition or not opened are fairly reasonable for a film that is out of print now but uh, yeah uh, this version is actually good you don't 
own it and that you like the movie. Um, yeah, I don't know really what all to say, because, you know, this is a very well-known and beloved film. Um, so many people know of it if they haven't watched it, so it's like, you know, what more can you say about something that's been talked about so much? And that's often, yeah, I find... I find a bit of a problem of sorts in that, you know, I want to talk about many of these films, but so many of them have been talked about, and it's like, what can you say that's new? I just remember, I guess, watching it when I was, like, uh, younger, like 12, 13, and, uh, I mean, of course, I enjoyed the film, uh, but I also, you know, uh, thought this, uh, that, that the story is is just very well done. Uh, the uh, performances are excellent. Uh, Sissy Spacek uh, and Pepper Lori were nominated for Academy Awards. Both lost to Faye Dunaway and Beatrice Strait of the Network. Um, you know, very good performances uh, that they lost to, though I think in some regards performances are better, but, you know, uh, you know, it, it definitely shows how uh, brutal uh, bullying is and how uh, some people, you know, are, uh, you know, that affects people, of course, you know carry had telekinetic uh, uh, abilities and so yeah you know and she was able to get back on all those who uh, picked on her made fun of her at some point um, I don't know if exactly that's the correct and right way to go about it with how she went but you know throughout the film you can understand why uh, she would, you know, do what she did at the end, and, it, yeah, uh, of course, there have been multiple versions, as I said early on with this film, like, uh, in terms of adaptations, um, there's even a musical one, I think there's one on TV, and I saw, I actually have seen the remake, um, of 2013, with, uh, Chloe Grace Moretz as uh, Carrie and Julianne Moore as mother. Um, that film was all right. Um, I don't think it was uh, at all better than this film, um, but you know it was updated to you know more modern time. And uh, with that, it was it was fine. You know, it didn't do anything new, which you know was probably outside of that of him updating it to modern day um, but you know of course because they didn't do a whole lot new some might think there's not much really to you know, point in the uh, remaking the film uh, but then again if they did anything overtly different that was very obvious from the source material as well as the film and then you know you uh We'll have people who have read the book and seen the film, the original film, and they didn't complain, which, you know, is quite understandable. But, you know, they, uh, the new version was fine. Um, it's one of those remakes that didn't need to happen, but also it wasn't a horrible film, uh, I don't think. Uh, you know, the performances of the leads of that film I think helped uh, elevate the uh, Carrie remake from just being very eh. Uh, it's fine. I, I actually have it. I've uh, watched it here and there, but I watched this version uh, more because it's just better. Um, 
this film also at the time they were casting. Uh, they were casting at the exact same time as Star Wars. And George Lucas and Brian De Palma casted people at the same time. And you can even see William Catt, who of course is in this film, as Tommy, he uh, auditioned to be Luke Skywalker. Um, of course, Mark Hamill got the part in Star Wars. He got a part in Carrie. And everything is, uh, everything is turned out the way that, uh, you know, how everything is now. Um, which I think is for the better. Um, I don't think William Cat would have been all that great as Luke Skywalker. Um, but I guess we'll never know. Um, he was good in this film. I know that, so. And, uh, yeah, he's had a very good career, you know, television and such, so. Things worked out for him. Things worked out for so many people with this film. Brian De Palma made other excellent films afterwards. John Travolta became a bigger star, so he's Spacek, Pepper Lorre, and uh, P.J. Souls is in this film um, as one of the girls who picks on Carrie uh, and she was of course later in Halloween uh, and was killed in that film I guess spoiler alert for her character's outcome though I guess I didn't say how she died but I think so many people have seen that film they already know so it doesn't uh, uh, matter too much exactly right uh but, you know, people went on and did many other great things afterwards. Stephen King, of course, his books, the more he wrote, and so many people, uh, you know, enjoy his books and have since, you know, uh, adapted many of his uh, books into films and miniseries. And, of course, he's always had a great amount of success. So, uh, yeah. Overall, my thoughts of this film are excellent movie, uh, great performances, and writings are very well done. Might get this uh, uh, Scream Factory version of this film at some point. Uh, you know, the upshot is that it's, you know, even if I'm able to get one that's in very good condition, it's been used, the prices don't seem to be uh, ridiculous. Seem to be like anywhere from like I've seen 35 to then the 50s and such. So I have a feeling also it uh, it's been out of print for a little while at least. Uh, though I'm not totally sure exactly when it went out of print. But um, I was also able to get the 25th anniversary steelbook version of uh, Fargo earlier this year at a very decent price. That was brand new, so. Hopefully I could uh, also, if maybe later on, I could uh, get that uh, at some point too. Because that also has special features, and I think uh, this is a great film, and I would like to uh, see some like uh, interviews and documentaries or anything of the sort uh, regarding Carrie. Uh, I think it would be interesting to hear about how all this came to be, aside from like saying, look at like YouTube videos. Sometimes those videos, uh, they have the full like documentary from like Scream Factory, Shout Factory, or Criterion, or whatever home video release. They have either it's not up for many years, or they are broken up into parts just to try and avoid some sort of copyright thing. Uh, or even sometimes like you know Criterion. Shout Factory, Scream Factory, you know, these uh, big uh, companies often, sometimes, you know, they have their own YouTube channels, and sometimes you'll occasionally get to see uh, uh, these uh, interviews or documentaries uh, uh, uploaded onto their uh, YouTube channel, but sometimes you might want to see one in particular, and they might not have uh, uploaded it at that time. And if somebody else uploads it, you know, that might get taken down at some point. Um, 
but that's always, I guess, uh, the case that people get, uh, risk when you upload uh, like special features and interviews uh, from certain uh, Blu-ray or DVD releases of films, of interviews or documentaries. Um, but yeah, uh, like to get that, and if I do. I have some sort of update sometime along the lines, either at the end of this year or whatever. If I get more stuff that I think would be interesting to talk about. Um, but yeah, uh, excellent film. You know, premise in, in various ways are, is fairly simple, uh, straightforward. Girl with telekinetic powers is bullied. She finds out about her telekinetic powers. And then as everything goes on, she still like I guess does like retaliate in sorts with as a result of the constant bullying she has gotten and you know, you're on her side, you know, she does some you know definitely does some bad things by the end, however you can also understand why she does them. Uh, doesn't mean they're it's right, but you understand bullied somebody and you know how they're retaliating it's like you know in some sort of way you you know like if you picked on somebody for many years and they beat you up one day it's like well you know you um, you kind of asked for it in such a way they got fed up and weren't going to take it anymore you know Carrie does that but you know also does it like times 10 or 50 or hundred whatever you want to say because people die uh yeah anyway that's all i have to say love this film great film uh yeah i could ramble on more but i should probably stop this at some point so uh that was a good place as any um yeah I hope you all are having a great day and hope you all have a great week and also hope uh, this weekend is good for you uh, as well. See you all next time. Take care.